What's going on freight skills? In this video, we are talking freight broker training. This is something that uh, a lot of brokers have questions about and a quick disclaimer before I get right into it. Uh, this is not a video that's pitching my course or my program. I do have a program, you know, I'll tell you that much. But the reason for this video is that there's a lot of confusion and out of sheer, I don't want to say desperation, but out of a drive to get this right, to make money as a freight broker or a carrier, there are a lot of people looking for ways to get into the industry. And I think that it's great that a lot of people want to get into the industry. I'm, I think that every person with good intentions that goes into freight brokering has the ability to make a positive impact on the industry as a whole. So we should encourage people learning to be freight brokers, but there are a lot of questions around how do you learn how to do this? Because there is really no instruction manual when it comes to brokering. I've been doing this for about 15 years now and every single day I learn something new, whether it's a new term to add to my vocabulary, a new style of shipment, a new commodity, uh, a new relationship, there's always new things coming down. So the, I guess the first thing that we have to understand and acknowledge is that your journey to learning as a freight broker is never going to be over. You can do this for 30 and 50 years and if you are unwilling to constantly adapt and learn and change, you're never going to make it in this industry. All right? And that's pretty much true for any industry that you get into, okay? So before we get into the actual mechanics of this, and obviously I break everything down for you, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any freight broker news or updates or tips and tricks that I come out with on the Freight Skills channel. Okay, so let's get right into freight broker training. We're gonna answer all the important questions, right? Do you need freight broker training? Where should you look for freight broker training? How do you vet and qualify a freight broker trainer or a coach? Because wherever there is opportunities, there are people who are doing things right and there are people who are doing things wrong. So you as an individual need to be able to filter out those people and be able to make a decision for yourself that the trainer or program or whatever it is that you invest in is right for you. Okay, so first let's answer the question, do you need freight broker training? And I'll answer this question with an analogy. The greatest athletes in the world all have coaches. The greatest bodybuilders in the world, you see them on TV, you know, I don't know, I'm a fitness person and I used to follow bodybuilding a lot, they all have coaches. Every single successful individual in the world has a coach, whether it's a business person that has a productivity coach or it's a athlete like we just said who has a coach that's constantly refining their mechanics. The importance of having outside eyes onto what you're doing every single day cannot be understated. It's extremely important that you have guidance and the best place to get guidance is from somebody who has been there and done that before, right? It's really, really uncommon for somebody to start anything and get it right on the first try. Everybody will always tell you, oh, experience is the best teacher, go get experience and then come talk to us. But experience is probably the slowest teacher of all. It actually definitely is the slowest teacher of all. Right, so someone like me, for example, I never had freight broker training. Uh, I learned from my dad who uh, ran the business before I took it over. I learned from the people working at the brokerage. Even I had people teaching me how to do this. And now I, have, I was in a different situation. I had an opportunity in front of me where you know, there was already a functioning brokerage that I was able to absorb information from. But I still had to learn a lot of lessons on my own over 15 years. Right, so for example, if you came to me to help you learn how to be a freight broker, you're getting those 15 years that I spent messing up, making mistakes, losing money, all of that stuff, you're getting that condensed into one conversation. Uh, in my group the other day for my program, somebody had asked a question and it was a very easy question. It took me about three milliseconds to answer the question, but that individual had been researching the answer to that question by themselves 
for two hours that day. Meanwhile, they just posted it to the group and they got it answered in about three seconds because I just had to look at it and just answer. To boil this all down, do you need freight broker training? No, you can learn how to do anything on your own, but does it cut the learning curve down dramatically and does it give you more time and less frustration to actually execute and make money as a freight broker? Absolutely. So I would say, yes, you do need freight broker training. There are a few ways to go about getting freight broker training. So how do you learn how to be a freight broker? That's a very popular question. It's, if you search on Google, you know, that'll be one of the suggested questions because there's a lot of people asking, how do you learn? There are two ways to learn how to be a freight broker. Number one is the usual applied uh, answer, which is to get a job at another freight brokerage and become a freight agent. And now I have addressed this before, but becoming a freight agent and becoming a freight broker are two different paths in this career. As a freight agent, yes, you are responsible for your own business. Yes, you have some freedoms in terms of how often you work, how much you work, but you are not truly free because you are working under the umbrella of a brokerage. You still cannot function by yourself without the backing of a freight broker. So being a freight agent and a freight broker are different. Don't watch this video and think, oh, I'm just trying to decide, should I be a freight agent or should I be a freight broker? I have another video for that. That's linked right above. And you have to understand that you can't decide between one or the other. They're not really comparable like some people might convince you that it is. Freight broker is autonomous. Freight broker is responsible for hiring, for firing, for maintaining payroll, for managing expenses, for doing their taxes, for the registrations, for insurance. A freight agent is responsible for getting business, making sure the business is covered, and then maybe hiring a few assistants in between. Another difference, you know, I'm going off on a tangent here, a freight agent does not own their book of business. They have a book, they have their relationships, but at the end of the day, if a freight broker wanted to enforce a, uh, a non-compete that they have or a confidentiality agreement, that is a realistic possibility. So if you build a book of business as a broker agent and then you left, that broker that you work under is not going to let that go easily. And I'm not saying that that's right, I'm not saying that's wrong, and I'm not saying that that's how I do things. I'm just saying that that is a realistic possibility. Okay, so that's number one. You can work under a broker to learn how to be a broker. You can work as an agent to learn the ins and outs of brokering, but that will not make you a brokerage owner. So if your desire is to be your own boss, be your own brokerage owner, then you have to resort to option number two, which is to take a class and get training on how to be a freight broker. Now, if we break that down, there are a few places that you can go to get education to be a freight broker. One, you can go the free route. You can go on YouTube, you can go on Facebook groups and forums and you can learn the ins and outs of how to be a broker. I post on this channel a bunch of free videos on how to be a broker. I'll argue that most of my free content is better than other people's paid content. A lot of people would probably back me up in saying that, but you have to understand that there is a limit to how beneficial free content is. You can watch all of the videos in the world, but number one, you're not investing into yourself. There's nothing really holding you accountable. Unless you're putting like a, a clock every single day that says, oh, you know, at this time, I'm gonna watch some YouTube content, I'm gonna absorb it all, and I'm going to apply it tomorrow. It's only so much control that we have over ourselves, right? So I'm going to argue that anybody offering free mentoring or free training without any benefit to them is not really going to be a consistent source of information for you. I've seen it myself. You know, I'm in a bunch of freight broker groups on Facebook and every single day I see people saying, oh, don't pay for training, it's a complete ripoff. And uh, don't join so-and-so's course, don't join this. Call me, I'll help you with your freight brokering. I'll, I offer free mentoring. It takes about one or two weeks and then you never hear from that person again. Take me for example, I charge a pretty modest fee for training, right? And again, don't join my program. I really don't care if you join or not, but I do charge. And with charging, not only am I motivated to produce more content, but I have the resources and the means to pay for that content to be distributed, right? This stuff is not cheap. 
I have to pay for video editing, course hosting, a website, and my time, which I spend many, many hours making this content, that does not come for free for me. So if I were to offer this for free, I would get burnt out and I would not be a benefit to you. Okay, so think about that when you think about getting free mentoring, free content, all of that free stuff can only take you so far in freight brokering. It's a cost benefit analysis that you have to do on yourself. Am I willing to put in all of the time myself to make this free content work? Or am I willing to fast track myself a little bit and get a little bit of more support? Right, and that brings us to number two. You can take a college course on how to be a freight broker. I absolutely do not recommend you go this route. College professors do not know how to be a freight broker. If you ask a college professor, yes, maybe they'll be able to tell you all the rules and guidelines and regulations about being a freight broker, but will they be able to tell you how to fix problems in a split second when things are going severely wrong on a load? Probably not. They're not experienced in freight brokering. They're also probably overpriced. Colleges are the most overpriced institutions in the world, and college is a business. If they see an opportunity to create a curriculum and sell it to people with a fake certificate, they're going to do that. And you can look it up. There's um, Right down the road from me right now, actually, is a college that offers a course on freight brokering. And they charge between six to $8,000, you know, between all the college credits that you have to take, to get this degree, that means nothing because the FMCSA does not require you to get a degree. They have already conditioned us to believe that college certificates are worth anything. And they're not worth anything, real experience and real active information and dialogue, that's what's valuable and that's what's gonna help you be a freight broker, not college courses. Do not take, a, if you take a college course and you spend five grand after you watch this video, you are completely at fault and you deserve everything that comes to you in terms of digging yourself out of that hole. All right, so I'm just gonna tell you right now, do not take a college course on freight brokering. It's a waste of time, waste of money. And now the third source that you can use to get information about being a freight broker is obviously a private training course. There are tons of these. I'm not gonna say any are better or worse. For the sake of this video, I'm trying to make this as unbiased as possible. But there are people who charge a lot of money for freight brokering courses, and there are people who make it more affordable. I'm not saying any option is better than the other, but what I am going to tell you is that before you choose a freight broker trainer and you pay money to learn how to be a freight broker, you have to do an internal analysis for yourself. If you take all this money that you have and you give it to this person or you give it to this program, you give it to this business, are you using it in a way that is more productive than another way, right? It's an opportunity cost. Say somebody's charging like $3,000 and for this $3,000 you get access to a program online and maybe some group calls. Is that person gonna deliver $3,000 in value to you? Are there one-on-one -on -one calls that you get with that person? Uh, what's the level of support that you get with that business? What's the continued support? Do they help you with ongoing problems? And what's this person's experience? Have they been doing this for 10 years? Did they build a business in the industry and then exit that business because times got tough and now they're teaching other people how to do it? You have to analyze, are you getting value for your money? And could that money be used better elsewhere? And again, another example, say training costs $1,000, which maybe it's worth that. I don't know. I don't know what that person's experience or value is. But for the sake of argument, there's $1,000 that you have. You can use it for training, or you can use it to buy a TMS system, or you can use that to hire a virtual assistant to help you make more sales calls. You have to analyze the use of your money. Is it worth putting it towards here, or is it worth putting it towards here? I'll give you another example in my training course. Somebody had a question about joining a, an automation, right? You know, there's a lot of programs and softwares that can automate freight brokering tasks. This particular automation costs between two and $300 per month. That's two and $3,000 per year. I told them within three seconds, you should save your money. You should not invest in that program because here's a system that we use to do it that's completely free. I saved that individual about $3,000 for the year with one second of my time, my course and my support has automatically made that person their money back tenfold. 
based off of what I charge. If you can justify the value of investing into something, then do it. And don't take other people's opinions and judgments to heart because it's worth it for you, right? All of this is a very personal and an individual decision not to be taken lightly. Those are the three ways that you can get freight broker training, right? We talked about you go to college, waste of time, waste of money, don't do it. You could be a broker agent, and we've said this is different than being a freight broker, so you have to make a decision for yourself. Do you want to be a broker agent or do you want to be a broker? It's very difficult to be an agent and then graduate into being a broker. Uh, talked about that a lot. The third way is to get private broker training. To do this, you need to analyze, is this money best spent putting towards this training? Is this person delivering the value for me? Or is this money better spent elsewhere in growing my business, right? Now let's talk about the third part of all of this, which is how do you vet a broker trainer and decide to invest into that person? So a lot of broker trainers that are out there right now either haven't built a business properly and haven't seen the ins and outs or have done it and exited the industry for whatever reason, probably because it's too frustrated because why would you leave something that is making you a bunch of money? Again, I'm not saying choose me as a broker trainer. I really don't care. Honestly, the less people that join my program, the better because I have less people to help, more time to focus on my brokerage. But if you have a business that is making you a bunch of money and it is easy to run and it is successful and you leave that business, there is obviously something wrong. Why would you leave a business that is successful and then turn around and teach people to build that business? Sounds like a great exit, great for you that you, you know, sold your business for millions of dollars, awesome. But then if you turn around and start teaching people how to build a business and advertise, yo, I sold my business for millions, that's a red flag for me because I love my brokerage. We make great money, we have a great lifestyle, uh, we take care of carriers, we have 25 employees that we're helping support their families. The broker is a good gig for me. So if I left my brokerage, something has to be wrong, right? So you have to keep that in mind. If somebody says that they, oh, you know, I used to be a broker, I, I left the game, I don't do it anymore. Why don't you do it anymore? If it's so easy and it's so great and you want to teach me how to do it, why don't you do it anymore? That's number one thing you have to look at. Number two thing you have to look at, what kind of experience can this person bring to you? Does this person do what you want to do? So for example, I do liquid bulk, dry bulk, dry van, LTL, flatbed, overdimensional, air freight, ocean freight, intermodal. I do container drayage, import and export. I do international door-to-door -door shipments, intra-border Canada shipments, shipments to and from Mexico. I don't know if that's 10 or 15 different modes, plus warehousing, storage, distribution, FB, Amazon FBA. I can keep going. That's 15 to 20 different modes of transportation. There's not much that I haven't seen in the industry. So I consider myself very qualified to teach people who don't know what they're doing how to do all of this stuff. If you go to a trainer, make sure that they know how to do what you want to do. If the trainer has a brokerage that only majors in LTL and truckload and has never moved a hazmat load, you're going to be very limited in learning how to move hazmat loads. If you want to do container drayage, but the person who you're investing your time and your money into doesn't know how to do containers, that's going to be a waste of money for you because you can't learn how to do container drayage. For example, if you come to me and you ask me, how do I do container drayage? I can tell you, be careful. This is where problems happen. You have to watch out for per diem. You have to understand all of these terms. You have to understand this paperwork here. Uh, if this goes wrong, you have to do this. If this goes wrong, you have to do this. I can tell you what can go wrong in a container shipment because I do 10, 20 of them every single day. So before you invest in a broker coach, ask them, I am here, I wanna get here. Are you there yet? Have you been there and how can you help me get to that point? You have to be very clear about investing your time and your money into people who are doing what you wanna do, okay? And again, don't need to pick me. I don't care if you pick me. You just have to pick somebody. Because, like I said at the beginning of this video, most champions, most people who are successful in life have not gotten there alone. There's always somebody that they can attribute their success to. And if there isn't, they're lying. 90% of the time. I hope this video helped. 
Uh, this is more of a guide video and I guess you could call it a rant because there's a lot of people out there in the industry that are pushing themselves as solutions to your problems but they don't really provide a full answer to what can help you and what can't help you, right? I'm trying to save you your money. If broker training is right for you, then by all means, look for a trainer, interview people, don't interview people, join courses. You could buy 20 courses, I, I don't care. Uh, everybody has something that they could teach you that another person can't, right? At the end of the day, you're just getting different opinions and and information so information rarely is a bad thing so I hope this video helped and if you want some more information about freight brokers and sales and carriers and training and all that stuff uh, I invite you to join my free group it's called the freight broker network it's where I hang out all day I answer questions about all things brokering it's right down in the description and just click the link Enter your email address, I'll send you a link, join there, invite yourself in, introduce yourself. I'd love to get to know how I can help you more with your freight brokering journey. And until the next video, I will see you soon.